7 signs of a bad universal joint. Universal joints, also known as a U-joint, are a vital part of the drive shaft in a rear-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or all-wheel drive vehicle. When this essential drive shaft part fails, you will experience lots of symptoms ranging from noises and trouble handling. Because the universal joints have a tough life and are often neglected, they tend to have a high failure rate. Faulty universal joints are usually accompanied by symptoms such as strange noise and vibrations. You will want to address issues right away to keep your vehicle safe and reliable. Universal joints allow drive shaft to move up and down in response to changes in vehicle's suspension geometry. Universal joints can fail for a variety of reasons including lack of lubrication, corrosion, and regular wear and tear. When a universal joint starts to fail, you will likely notice one or more of the following symptoms. The most common symptom of a bad universal joint is vibration in your car at higher speeds. It can also cause clunking or squeaking noise while driving, and in the worst case, it can damage the transmission seals causing the transmission to start leaking. Let's have a look at each symptom in more detail. Knowing the warning signs of failure in advance and taking your vehicle in for immediate repair may save you from getting stranded and needing a tow if the vehicle universal joint completely fails. 1. Squeaking noise Squeaking noise when starting to move either forward or in reverse. The bearing portion of each universal joint twists a small amount with each rotation of the drive shaft. The bearing components of each universal joint are greased at the factory. However, after the vehicle has been used for a good amount of time, the grease might stop lubricating the bearings. The grease can evaporate or be thrown out of the bearing cup. The bearing becomes dry, metal-to-metal -metal contact is made, and the universal joint bearings will squeak as the drive shaft rotates. When the bearing becomes dry, contact is made between the metal surfaces causing a squeaking sound. This condition is most prevalent when the drive shaft is rotating, so you will notice it most commonly just when you start to move, either going forward or in reverse. The squeak usually cannot be heard once the vehicle moves faster than 5 to 10 miles per hour because of other vehicle noises. The squeak is warning that universal joints should be serviced or replaced. You can certainly extend the life of your existing universal joint by doing so. 2. Clunking or clanging noise Your vehicle's universal joint may eventually wear at connecting points to the drive shaft. If that happens, you will likely hear a loud clanking noise as you shift your transmission from one position to another, for example from reverse into drive. You may also hear a clanking combined with a ringing sound most prominently when you shift out of drive into reverse. If you allow the bearing to go ungreased after hearing the squeaking noise, clanking noise is likely the next step. While you could add grease to extend the life of the bearing, it will not reverse the damage that has already occurred. You may hear the noise when changing gears or when rapidly accelerating or decelerating. In many cases, the noise is most noticeable when shifting an automatic transmission out of park or switching it between forward and reverse. Clank with a ringing sound when shifting from drive to reverse usually indicates that the universal joint bearings have enough excess clearance to allow the drive shaft to rotate slightly, then come to a hard stop when the power is reversed. This can be the next stage of deterioration after having insufficient grease in the universal joint bearing. Servicing or greasing the universal joint bearing won't reverse damage to the universal joint, but may extend its life somehow. 3. Vibration Vibration felt throughout the vehicle while moving forward at speed. One of the most common signs of bad universal joint is a vibration that is felt throughout the vehicle. Usually, the sensation is the most noticeable at highway speeds. If you begin to feel vibration when the vehicle is moving forward, it could mean that the universal joint bearings are worn down so much that the drive shaft is moving beyond the normal rotational limit. This situation is leading to vibration and imbalance. You will notice the vibration is worse than if the wheel was out of balance because 
the drive shaft moves three or four times faster than the wheels. The defective inversal joint is creating damage to other key parts such as the transmission. You must have the universal joints replaced if you want to avoid any further damage. It can be easy to confuse this vibration with a wheel balance problem, but there are telltale differences to look for. A vibration caused by wheel imbalance will have a consistent steady vibration when the vehicle is in motion. A universal joint failure will cause vibration when both accelerating and decelerating, but the vibration will stop when your vehicle is not moving, even if you run the engine. 4. Transmission Fluid Leak from the Rear of the Transmission Transmission fluid leaking from the rear of the transmission is often the result of badly worn universal joint. Sometimes, a transmission fluid leak can be caused by a worn universal joint. You will notice the leak occurring from the back of the transmission if this is the case. Usually, the leak only occurs after the other symptoms have been ignored. As the universal joints wear more, the transmission tail shaft bushing has created damage to the transmission output shaft seal, allowing fluid to seep through. At this point, you are looking at more extensive repairs than simply replacing the worn universal joint. 5. Vehicle cannot move under its own power. When universal joints are not replaced at the first sign of failure, they can cause major issues, even complete dislocation of the drive shaft. This is the ultimate failure mode of universal joint, literally breaking, no longer transferring power. When the drive shaft breaks, it will drop off onto the ground below and stop transferring any power. At this point, your vehicle will require more than a universal joint. In fact, it might need an entirely new drive shaft. 6. Grinding over time, the grease inside the universal joint can dry out, causing the roller bearings to wear a small indentation into the section called the cross. A grinding sound will come from the bearings being forced over these indentations. 7. Loud banging. On rare occasion, a universal joint breaks apart, separating the drive shaft from the transmission. You will typically hear a loud noise, like metal striking metal. If not taken care of, this will immediately lead to complete U-joint failure. If you experience any of these signs, it may be time to replace your universal joint. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you in this presentation regarding the symptoms of bad universal joint. If you like this video, please smash the like button and consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Ring that bell for future notifications. We'll see you soon in another video. Till then, stay safe.